Hi there, it's Sivan Radley from Big Me Up's 30 Day Challenge. Um, today I'm going to show you how to find the contacts that you need for when you're doing your stories, okay? So you need to look county-wide, city-wide, the borough that you live in, and if you live in a village, the village as well. So there's kind of four levels. So let's start with county-wide. Um, we live in Nottinghamshire, so I'm just going to put in here Nottinghamshire News. Uh, you can search for news or papers and magazines. Let's see what this brings up first of all. Straight away we've got BBC Radio Nottingham, you can see there. Um, news for Nottinghamshire. Uh, you've got ITV uh, Central News there, which is our local television station. So you can get information from there and you can check out what kind of things they like to write about. And um, this is quite interesting, News and Media, Nottinghamshire County Council. Now, your councils will have um, press releases on their website, news sections. Um, they'll also have a What's On guide. And if you can get, there's press releases, look, if you can get, and a media centre, <laughs> let's go through to the media centre, um, if you can get onto their website, it's great backlinks for your company um, and really helps with SEO. So search engine optimization is increased if you are on a government website because Google knows that that's a really solid, safe website to be on. So you can go through and um, you can kind of have a look at what stories they like to cover. Here's the archived press releases. Um, I mean, if you're working with a local council, it's great. Maybe you're helping in schools um, on one of their programmes or you're probably taking part, especially in the summer, in um, activities that they have during um, the summer season. Um, so well worth keeping an eye on the local council. OK, let's go back. So that's kind of Nottinghamshire. You might also find... Um, magazines that cover the county, especially if you live out in the country. So let's try there, Nottingham Papers and Magazines. Our main paper here is the Nottingham Evening Post. Um, that's a daily paper. Some of you will have daily papers, some will have weekly, some will have both. It is a case of trawling through Google and finding what's in your area. So the Nottingham Evening Post um, appears quite a lot on here. Also, I can see here there's the Retford Times. Um, we don't have any boot camps in Retford, so it's not worth me doing anything with them. Um, but don't just think about where you live. Think about where your classes are held, um, where your boot camps are held. So let's have a little look on Yell.com and see if it brings up a few more. Yeah, perfect. So here you can see that there's community newspapers, brilliant for your um, audience. It talks directly to your audience. Um, so you've got one there called the Bramley. Again, we haven't got anything in South Wales, so we wouldn't go for that. Uh, the Nottingham Local News, we do do stuff with them. And I'll show you what they look like. Oh, it's not going to take me through to the main site, it's just a map, okay. So let's go back. Um, there's also Life magazines, um, which are brilliant. NG magazines, so that NG is the postcode obviously for Nottingham. Life and Style magazine, that's in Newark. The Point magazine, so lots of smaller um, kind of magazines and newspapers that you can get into. Let me just show you Life magazine while we're here. Actually, there's one called City Life. And most cities will have this. They're really expensive to advertise in. And if you could get an editorial in a magazine rather than paying for an advert, I mean, you could pay £15,000 easily for an advert in something like this. Um, if you get an editorial rather than an advertorial, it's actually worth five times more because you're being sanctioned by the journalist, you're being sanctioned by the publication, whereas anybody can take out an advert and the public knows that, you know, if people pay, they can get in. But if you're in there 
for free just writing about your stuff. You can't get better advertising than that. Um, so City Life magazines are really good. Also where we live, we uh, live in Rushcliffe. So that's the borough. There's one, look, Rushcliffe News. Let's see what that brings up. Again, there's stuff about the local council. And if you get on their websites, that's great. Other good websites to get on are things like Mumsnet and Netmums. You can definitely put your classes in um, on their on their What's On guide. This is one called Nottingham Local News, and you can see it's all very local: West Bridgeford Local News, uh, Rushcliffe Local News, uh, Family Run Business Celebrate Twenty Five Years of Success. You know, these are the kind of stories that you can get on there. Also, it's great. In the winter time, if you train outdoors and get snowy pictures, a lot of them will put on your snowy pictures for you. West Bridgeford Local News. We've got one of our boot camps in West Bridgeford. Um, so it's really great. And online is fantastic. It's a real growing market. So if you can get your stories printed in online magazines, um, online newspapers, fantastic. Now we live in East Leak, which is quite a small village really but even they have got a um, local magazine it's called the East Leak Times it costs £120 to advertise in it because when we first um, launched our boot camps we did pay for advertising but you can also offer to write for them and get free articles in there for a local parish magazine this is the kind of website you're going to come across you know they're not brilliant however they do go through every door in your village and probably the surrounding villages as well. Um, there is an email there and I would suggest hitting on the email rather than filling in this horrible box because people tend to ignore you if you fill in the box. It's much better to email them directly. So hopefully that will help you find some more contacts to send your press releases to. Don't just send it to your local weekly paper or your local daily paper. Get online for a couple of hours, have a Google around, look in, you know, your immediate vicinity. So if you live in a village, the local borough, um, try and get on some council websites, uh, look in your city. So look for magazines, online magazines, newspapers, and then look county wide as well, especially if you have sessions, boot camps, classes in other parts of the county where you live. Try and feature for free in some of these smaller magazines, smaller newspapers, but they are the ones that talk directly to your customer. Okay, that's it for today. This is Yvonne Radley from Big Me Up's 30 Day Challenge.